Good morning and welcome to day six of our August daily vlog. Today is going to be a very busy day. I am pretty tired to be honest. I think everyone in the whole family is just feeling really shattered at the moment for whatever reason. Probably we've just had quite a few busy days on the run and I don't think we've been going to bed too late. Anyway, we're all quite tired. <laughs> But that's that's beside the point. Today we have got to pack. We are off tomorrow on our road trip. We are heading down south. We are going on our holiday. It's myself, yeah, my fourteen-year-old. Yeah, you want to take toys? Yeah. Well, okay. We'll see what we can take. But um, cars. You. <laughs> You have to take some cards. I'm sure. Well, just let me do this and then we'll have a little look at what we need to yeah. take. Most importantly, we need yeah. to take our clothes and our swim stuff. If we can fit what we can fit, we'll have to see what we can fit in the car. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure. Bit. Maybe we can. A bit. I don't know. We'll have to see. Once we've packed our clothes and all our important things, we'll have, have to see what. A blanket. Blanket. No. <laughs> no. Blanket's not important. No. Right. A As bag. I was saying, a it bag. is. Yeah, your bag. No. You're not going to bring your bag? Yeah. Oh, you are? Okay. Um, it is myself, my 14-year-old son, okay. and the three little foster kiddos, a five-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old, who are driving down initially. We are doing... Uh, oh, my phone is going off. Uh, we are doing initially a... Uh, we're staying overnight, we're not going to do all the trip down to Cornwall. It's about a five and a half, six hour drive down to Cornwall. Um, and we're not doing that all in one day. We're going to stop off along the way. Uh, and we're meeting my sister when we hit further down south. She's still at work in London for the next day or so. So, we need to pack up things. It's pretty difficult to pack for... I've never really been abroad in this country, to be honest. I, yeah. I love my summer holidays and I'm pretty gutted. I'm, I'm not gutted anymore. I'm really quite looking forward to it. It was gutted initially oh, because some of the kids it. don't have passports. Oh, I it. Are you excited for the road trip? Yeah. I am too. Some of the kids don't have passports, so we Good. couldn't. Yeah. We couldn't go uh, abroad. Uh, which is a lesson I've learned this time is always make sure the kids have passports because we like to go abroad uh, but the, the, just to pack for this weather is just like i'm sure it's going to rain it's going to be sunny it's going to be warm it's going to be cold that's quite difficult to pack for like if you're just going on holiday abroad you just like swimsuits yeah uh you know throw over dresses like it's just easy you know it's going to be scorching hot this is a little bit tricky to pack for also we haven't got a lot of room in the car um you want to take baby oh my goodness they're planning on taking all of it we can't take babies we haven't got any room in the car. What we'll do, we're going to pack our clothes yeah. and our swim stuff. And then we'll see what room we've got left. Okay, right, let's get going. Right, we've just come up into child one's bedroom. And I've just started and I figured the only... <laughs> little robot in the background. The only way I'm going to manage to get through this is I'm just... I'm dragging things out and just making a pile on the bed. And I think I'm going to have to write down what i am packing for each child and then i'll know if i'm missing something so for example i've just realized that the pants that we all want to take are downstairs and need ironing so i need to like make a list of all that otherwise yeah, it's just not going to work for me i don't know how i'm going to keep track of everyone's items if i don't do that so pen paper that's not right my pen is here pen paper and i'm gonna yeah write lists as i go I think I have almost done one child. I'm moving on to child number two. And thankfully, um, Birth family did a bit of a shop and bought them some clothes. And um, some kind of, like, well, yeah, clothes for the holiday. So, and I've kept them. I was going to unpack them and put them all in their drawers and things. But I left them in a bag. I'm so glad I did because I can kind of just grab everything out that's holiday appropriate. And, uh unpack it so that's good so i reckon i've only been doing this about an hour and i reckon i am pretty much done with the kids stuff and i'm gonna the problem i've got is that i've got some things in the wash and it's just oh, i need some of those things like swimming stuff and things stephen's pajamas and 
stuff because generally we don't have a ton of stuff like i'm not a big believer in having a bazillion you know pairs of pajamas and all of that things so we've got some things in the wash at the moment that we're going to need to take with us um the kids do have a lot of stuff because like i said before like birth family have bought them some things and stuff to go away with i also have a big bag over here of stuff that lara has bought i'm gonna try i don't even know i don't even know where i'm gonna pack these things let me grab these bags my packing cubes from over here and maybe we'll see if we can do like one packing cube for each kid I don't think anyone's stuff is going to fit in that little one. Oh, I haven't got enough packing cubes, I don't think. Right, okay. Well, let's let's just let's just see. I think we'll tick off as we go through it. So I think that one child, I've got everything for him other than a blue jacket that I ha I've completely lost. To be honest, I don't know where that is. Right, we've got some flip flops, a sun hat, some like water shoes. I don't even know like what. Because the other kids had them, I've bought them for him as well. They may be useful for, I don't know, at the beach or something. I don't really know. And then he has some swim shorts, three pairs of swim shorts, some swimming stuff. I'm hoping that we're going to really kind of live in shorts and swim stuff is the goal with this pack. And well, if we don't, then honestly we'll be in trouble because... <laughs> kind of all I've packed for and then I've generally just done kind of like shorts and t-shirts with like an, a, a little like one or two jumpers or jackets so actually I think this is going well I think yeah one kid to a packing cube will work and then undies socks pajamas he is done so all he needs added into his packing cube oh but that's not bad at all all he needs is his jacket when or if i find it that is not bad because we just haven't got enough space in the car to be honest like we really haven't got a lot of space at all so let's put that we just haven't got enough packing cubes for everyone put that packing cube there and then steven have you got any packing cubes anywhere not that i know of oh, see if lara's got any what i found is packing for a girl like i haven't got a girl i've got a boy i'm not really used to girls to be quite honest it's much like boys it's just kind of like shirts t-shirts no problem whereas girls it's like do you want skirts do you want shorts do you want dresses do you want like girls are harder definitely definitely harder but they were much easier because like i said they did just have a big bag of stuff that their birth family had bought so i was just able to just kind of take it off the hangers fold it up check that there was enough of everything perfect sandals Okay, and then we do have um, a potential bedwetter actually, so they will need a couple of pairs of pajamas and also uh, those like disposable bed mats. I think I'm going to take. We use at home. We just use like a one that we can wash, but I'm not sure on our washing facilities, so I'm best to have disposable ones. Well, I really don't like using disposable things, but that will be best, I think. She's got two jumpers there, although maybe they won't want to wear one. Do you know, I'm not packing this very well because now I'm thinking about it. I'm just putting all the kids' things in one bag, whereas we're stopping. So we're going tomorrow and we've got one night somewhere and then one night somewhere else. And then it's not until Friday that we arrive at the caravan. So do we want to have separate stuff? You know, so I can leave the main bags in the car, like, just for one night. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm just going to put things in for now, and I may take things out just for, like, the two spare nights. Maybe that's an idea. What do you think? It'll be too late. By the time you see this, I'll have decided and I've done it. So, <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking you. Uh, she needs some socks. So, I've, I'm using my list. My list is coming in very handy of things that they've got, things that I still need to pack in. I still need to find her swimming costume and she still needs some socks. Wow. See, look, she's got, although I think it may be a slightly smaller packing key, but she's got much more. 
Squish that in. Put some socks in there later and another swimming costume. Sorted. That's two children done. So now I'm a bit stuck. Let's just leave that stuff there for now. That's another child stuff there. But I haven't got a packing cube for. And then Stephen's stuff back here, he sorted himself out. This is Stephen's little pile of stuff. He's very like me, very, but look at how blue. He won't wear anything other than blue. When <laughs> everything's blue. Um, very like me, he doesn't really have like a bazillion different, you know, items of clothing or whatever. I have done, generally they're pretty good in the car, the kids, and I do kind of believe in like not entertaining them constantly that you know look out the window for a little bit and <laughs> see what you can see and whatever so i think what we will do because we're doing two overnights it is being broken down into like two hour journeys i think so they're not actually really in the car for any huge lengths of time i think it's like three lots of two hours we'll do but like over like three days or something ridiculous so there's not even any great big journey but i have done like they should be pretty much entertained for most of it but they have just got a little bag to throw in the back with some books and things and another one with like some little bits of toys um just in case they do get a little bit restless I don't, the word. I don't think restless is the word but you know in case they want something to occupy them for a little bit and then i've got this big bag you know how i talk about how me and lara are completely different how i don't like a lot of stuff and lara likes stuff She's bought, and it's very kind of it, and it's lovely, but she's bought all these things for the kids to take with them. So I've just packed them in this bag. I think that I'm not going to potentially do them for the car journey, but just, I think just to have, you know, like in the mornings, if we're not going straight out or whatever, just to have a few little bits of toys and books and things, I'm sure will be useless. Useless will be useful. And also in here, we've got just like a, a little bag that goes on your back just for days out or whatever you need to put things in but there's just a variety of things in here like a little it's just like a little game and some books and all sorts of stuff we'll take that it'll be fine it will be fine like i say it's very kind of her but it does kind of stress me out all of this stuff is like where does it go where am i going to put it when we get back home but, you know there's that and oh i know what this is good doing this because it reminds me of things we've got a little swim thing here i've also need to get she's bought let me show you the library that she's bought just hang on a second this will this and you'll see how ridiculous she is so she bought these all of these bear in mind hang on before i show you those that last year she bought this that she never even opened some water wheel thing. She bought, if you watched our Bulgarian vlog, vlog last year, she bought a big, huge unicorn thing. I had like a watermelon and a pizza or something like, we got two lilos. No idea, she drives me insane. Um, some armbands, probably useful, so I will take those in all honesty. She, excuse me, she wants a, ring so we will take a ring this this is what she was supposed to buy just this just this little hilo we had one last year and we really liked it so i think we really liked it but we broke it like it broke quite quickly hopefully it won't break as quickly you like sink down into the middle can you see that sink down into the middle and like so you're in the water one of those huge big glass box thing i don't know what sort of face she thinks that we have like they're good, like some little toys but in the pool, it is a heated pool, thank goodness. So we'll take that, I mean I just don't, I don't know what she wants, rubber ring is probably quite useful for the kids but like, no idea. I will probably speak to her on the phone later and see what she wants to do but that's an awful lot of inflatables to be quite honest. There's more inflatables there than there is people, there are people. Um. So what else? Oh, I've got a carrier for the little one. The little one is two and he, he has started to get really, really good at walking, to be honest. But 
Um, we're not taking a buggy, we don't use a buggy with him. Um, definitely, he's not gonna last like all day, every day carrier so that he can fall asleep on our backs or just have a rest or whatever from walking, to be honest. Um, and that's what I've got for now. I haven't even started my stuff. Let me see if I can find some more packing cubes. Oh, actually, they have got some bits that mum has bought, like some colouring books and, um, not a sand castle, bucket and spade and things to take with them, which is nice that mum's done that, so I need to get them. I think we should be all right, to be honest, in terms of space in the car. I'm just a bit wary of that, like, it's not, a, like, the boot, if you see, like, the boot is about that big, when we've got all seats down, uh, seats up, sorry, so there's not much space at all. I found more packing cubes. We're good. One for everyone. Let's go. Shut. Open and shut up to bed. We've got a busy day tomorrow. What's happening? Where are you going tomorrow? Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. My yeah, my where, are you going? <laughs> where are you going on the road trip? Um, to the sea. <laughs> to the to the sea. <laughs> night night, Stephen. Night night, Stephen. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. <laughs> Should we go to bed? Oh, it's so cute. Right, that is the kids in bed. Where we're standing at the moment is wow. Not not we're not finished really. Let <laughs> let me show you. We've got, we're, we're not bad. I've got four packing cubes for four kids. This is my packing cube. I haven't even started anything for me at the moment. Pool stuff, whatever this is. What's this? Carrier, some car stuff for the kids. Uh, this is our bags that we may be using. I showed you that bag before. We've got a bag here that we're going to put towels and stuff in. I have got our various like nappies, swim nappies, bedwetting potential things there on that chair. I got some things drying in the kitchen that we need to take. That's fine. They'll hang there and dry. I might try and put it outside actually to see if it'll. I don't think it's going to rain, so it can go outside. Dry in the wind a little bit quicker. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to do anything else tonight. Um, I know that kind of like packing and stuff. Some people get. It just doesn't stress me, it's just like whatever, it will get done. I know it will get done before we leave tomorrow, so no problem. Um, I'd rather just relax this evening, it's like quarter to eight. I want to try and get this vlog edited because obviously we'll be busy in the morning and we're leaving and stuff, so I want to try and get this done and scheduled and everything tonight, which won't take me long because I've done most of it. Check me out, I am really on the ball today. And I'll just get up in the morning and pack my things, throw them in a... Uh, what's it called? Packing cube. And I'm on the. It just. St packing them, whatever. Like, I thought I w it would be. I would be very stressed about it because normally, obviously, it's just me and Stephen. Like, the most I've ever done is me, Stephen, and Squirt that I've been responsible for. Like, this is. Well, it's kind of like five people plus Lara, but you know, six people to be responsible for getting everything in the car for and packing it all and whatever. You know, like, Lara packed her own, but whatever. I thought I would be more stressed about it, but it turns out I'm just not a really, like, stressful person like that. It's like, if I forget something, I forget something, it's not the end of the world. You can, there's shops around. My mum always used to say, um, whenever you were going away anywhere, it's like, well, it's not out of Mongolia. So you can always buy things. So it's, it's not the end of the world. I need to get toiletries. I have got a list on my list that I was making of, like, little bits I will forget something, and you know what, so what if I do? Well, I, yeah, yeah, toiletries. Um, I also actually haven't even booked our accommodation for tomorrow night, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that now. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do the rest tomorrow. So I will end it here. Thank you so much for watching today, and thank you so much for everyone who is joining in for the 6 p.m. premieres. We had a really good one tonight. It was the day in the life fostering from yesterday. It was a good one. I enjoyed chatting to you. It's really nice because like, I've never done premieres before and it's quite nice that if you're there and we can sort of chat and stuff, you can ask questions, especially about like the posture and things. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here and I will see you tomorrow when our middle summer holiday is going to start. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.